to another episode of my life experiences. Today, I've got a very important person, a VIP. <laughs> She's a friend, a woman of substance, and a daughter of the king. So, just stay tuned and be blessed. Over to you, Oli. Just introduce yourself and go ahead and uh, share with us your testimony. Thank you so much, Wazy. So, my name is Olive, Olive Musoma. Um, yeah, I think that's what I can say. I'm a child of God. I believe in God a lot. And um, I believe in Him because He has done a great deal of things in my life. And that's why I'm here today to testify about what He has done in my life. Uh, he has done so many things, but I want to highlight one thing. And there, there's a reason why I would like to highlight that one. I would like to highlight it because it may uplift somebody's faith or it may uplift somebody's hope. There was a time I was working at a certain institution on a project, on a program that was supposed to run for three years. And it was supposed to end in that particular year of interest by December on 20th. So planning on the, on, on the uh, next steps, I started applying for jobs from June saying, okay, I, need, I, I have some six months, within these six months, at least I have time to go for interviews. I may fail here, pass there, but by the time the program ends, I'll have a job. June, made applications, no interview, no invitation. Really? July, same thing. August, same thing. And I did not stop. I, I was praying and believing in God. I said, God, I look up to you. Then if, there, were, there were other instances when I would get a letter telling me that they regret. They had so many candidates and they, they have gone forward with somebody else who was more suitable than me. But I trusted God. I kept on going back. Whenever I received a, 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 reject, a rejection later, I would go back to God and say, I look up to you. That was August. September. I was invited for an interview. Went there. Came back. Really great. And I was like, oh my God. So many frustrations. Uh -huh. And they are like, what, what should I do? Um, this is September. Yeah. October, November, December, then the project, the program is ending. I don't want to be unemployed because at that particular time, I was not doing any kind of business. Yes, yes. I was not doing farming. At least nowadays I do farming. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I depended on a job as so, 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 so get everything. So I still trusted in God. I said, um, whatever will happen, as long as I'm with God, it's fine. Just as Paul said, to me, to live is Christ. Yes. To die is gain. Yeah. Whichever way. Yeah. So I, I had hope and I trusted. So October applications, no luck. November. November 30th. Oh my God, we only have 20 days to yeah. the end of the program. And I still have, and I, don't, I still don't have an interview. I still don't have another job. And the next month after, when after the program is ending, is January, the month that everybody else, and that's the time is when we are losing yeah. hope. Uh -huh. So January is already tough the way it is, and and I was thinking of entering January with no income. Yeah. What would happen to me? So I prayed to God. I prayed that Lord, I look up to you. My times are in your hands. Go before me. Yes. I know for the other rejections, he went before me and he knew that maybe there was something that wasn't good for me. Yes, yes. In it. And you made sure that you give me something that's going to be good for me. So I prayed. Then one, 
the following day when I went back to work, I got I, I, I got hold of the newspaper, I yeah. saw so many adverts and one that was relating very much to my job. Oh, job. Very much. Perfect fit in any way you can think of. Yes. And that was we had started in December now. So it was at, around first or second December. So I was like, oh God, this is really you. Yes. There was an advert, it was closing on the 7th of December. I, I, I asked my child, I say, she was, that time she was only four. Yes. I said, you know what, kneel down. So you were asking the four year old, four year old, kneel yeah. down. So we took the newspaper. We laid it like yeah. <laughs> in front of God and we said, God, we started praying. You know, a four-year-old, she had her own way of praying, but I prayed that God, this job is perfect for me. Yeah. Because initially, since I started working, I was working outside the town of where I was staying. Yes. But this job was going to be, it was going to be a better job. And yeah. in the town I was staying. Yes. And yes. to me, I felt like that was a very great opportunity. Yeah. So I prayed with passion to God. I said, God, I need this job. You know, Open doors for me. Yes. Speak for me. I'll write this, but I ask you to guide what I write when I'm applying for this job. So I did that. And the closing date happened to be a day when I was also supposed to be in the town where the headquarters of that institution was. But I arrived late. It was around 7 p.m. Um, they were closing that day and it was weird it was a Sunday I, they were closing on a Sunday and I came at night because I had a meeting the following day in the same place I went to the guard and said Bambo this is very important mm. take this later when they open that office first thing please give them yeah mm. It's a matter of life and death. Mm -hmm. Help a sister. The guy assured me. So I did that. I had faith. I went by. I, I went about with my business. Closed the program. I was the last person to leave the the, 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 the program. Handed over all the things that are supposed to hand over on the twentieth of December and went home believing. So when you applied for the job, it was on a Sunday. Mm. So. That means the God delivered it on Monday. Monday By faith, I said He delivered. I didn't even know, but I was I was so at peace. Yeah. I was like, that man should have delivered this thing in the morning. And that was it. I didn't even find out to say did they deliver or not. I, I just trusted and believed God. So in January, soon after Christmas, uh, a New Year celebrations should should have been maybe around. The second or third January, yeah. I received a call, mm. and subsequently a letter inviting me for, for interviews. Yes, mm. at the, the same seven. place, the same. Where, where yes, are you? for that for that job, the application that I went with at night. Yes, on a Sunday. Interesting. <laughs> so, yeah. by seven, I went for interviews. Mm. Then they asked me, when are you available? I said, I'm available right away. Right away, I can start, even now. Even today, <laughs> where's my office? So yeah. they said, no, 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 you can go back, we'll get back yes. to you. Mm. Then um, I reported for duties yes. that same month mm. on the 21st. Because one, the other prayer that I, I made to God was, God, if you don't do this for me, I will be ashamed. Yes. You will be ashamed. I'll yeah. be ashamed because I believe in you. You will be ashamed because I believe in yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. So let's do this. Mm. Uh, yeah. And uh, I said, you know, I can't stay a month without a job. A job, yeah. And um, ironically, the job I was working with in, uh, I, I was working, I, I, the, the job that I had, mm. I had stayed without annual leave the whole year. Yes. So to me, when God answered and I started my job on the 21st of January, yeah. I treated the first three weeks as my leave. As leave. So yes, I said, oh, yes. God values my time. He wants yes. me to rest before I start something new. Yes. So today I just wanted to encourage someone who is out there looking for an opportunity mm -hmm. to say, trust in God. Yes. God can do things that you do not understand, mm. things that you didn't even think of. Mm. 
Yeah. What is required mm. is trust. Deep and pair. Mm-hmm. Deep and bed. Mm-hmm. Dichi amigo. Yes. Zimvek is also as a Yes. That's what I held yes. in my hand. Yeah. And that's yeah. what has taken me from place to place. Yeah. And yeah. even now I I I still yeah. hold that firmly to say if I make my supplications and my oh, prayers to known to God, yes. God is surely gonna <coughs> give yeah. me what I'm asking. He's a God that answers prayer. Amen. Yes. Mm. All right. Thanks so much, uh, Oliver. It was such an inspiring story that you had for us. And um, to the view out there, I just want to encourage someone. Um, today, maybe you are losing hope. Yeah. Uh, maybe you 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 think that maybe you are losing your job. What am I going to eat tomorrow? How am I going to take care of my family? But God is a wonderful God. He can feed the birds that do not even farm. He can dress the flowers in the field. Oh, yeah. He's such a wonderful and amazing God. Give your trust in Him. So the Word of God says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And uh, lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. So, just take this, pray, and believe that God is going to answer you. Thank you so much, viewer. Thank you so much, Olive, for accepting to be um, on this episode. Thank you so much. It's been such an encouragement. Yeah, Thank so, you so much, Wazi, for having me. Yeah. So, finally, I just want to remind somebody to press the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to like this channel. Thank you. Stay blessed. Do